The brutal murders of the child's family living on the near northeast side it shocked all of us. This was just about a month ago. And tonight, the IMPD officers who saved the surviving brother are speaking exclusively with us. Our Courtney Crown tells us what decision likely saved that teen's life. Uh, they were a little hectic, not knowing if there was a shooter still on scene, what was going on. Officer Lucas Riley started patrolling the streets with IMPD two months before he responded to the area near Adams Street on January 24th. This is the home where six people were tragically murdered. We found the young man on the porch that had a gunshot wound to his arm. He's referring to the 15-year-old brother of the suspected shooter, 17-year-old Raymond Childs, who was accused of killing his family members, including an unborn baby boy. Court records show this 15-year-old witnessed the horror inside the house. Officer Carl Chandler remembers the call came out as an incomplete 911 call. We saw blood, you know, all over um, a residence um, side of the house. We started running over um, just to make sure what to, the person was okay and see what was going on. And, when we approached him, he was shot in the arm and he was bleeding out. Immediately, their training kicked in. I grabbed up my tourniquet. It was kind of difficult putting it on because of the wound on his arm. We didn't want to further damage it. Every IMPD officer is trained by Indianapolis EMS to use their provided I'm tourniquets like on many gunshot wounds. You don't want any blood to go past that. So okay, so it's going to be tight. Yep. Tourniquets go above the wound and can stop bleeding almost immediately. They're, they're bleeding severely from a, a larger artery. Uh, the sooner that we can stop that bleeding, the, the better chance that their, their life will be saved. IEMS Chief Dan O'Donnell says fortunately IMPD officers helped the teen until their crews could safely get on scene. And essentially save this child's life. We were just fortunate that we could get there in time. Courtney Crown, Fox 59 News. IEMS, the fire department, and IMPD carry tourniquets with them. Metro Police says these devices keep people alive until the medics can begin their work.